So today we are going to see variation in trigonometric values in different quadrants. So many students have this question like when something like this comes sin 180 minus like some theta so if this comes so question arises in students mind so what would be answer of this question so to avoid this confusion let me just tell you some tricks and shortcuts to solve variation in trigonometric values in different quadrants so consider a four quadrant system so normally I take this quadrant as first quadrant this as second quadrant this is my third quadrant and this is my fourth quadrant now what you have to remember here is that in this quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive in this quadrant only sine and cosec ratios are positive rest all are negative so that means here cos, sec, tan and cot will be negative in the same way here tan and cot ratios will be positive and rest all will be negative and here sec and cos ratios will be positive and rest all will be negative so you all can remember this by something like there is a shortcut called A S T C it's all students this P can be written as T X and this C is coffee so all students takes coffee this is how you can remember in which quadrant which trigonometric ratios are positive so here A for all trigonometric ratios is for you can remember sin and its reciprocal you can remember that so in second quadrant sin and its reciprocal in third quadrant tan and its reciprocal and in fourth quadrant cos and its reciprocal will be positive <coughs> now once you got this i'll just drop this now i'll always start measuring my angle from this line so starting from this line i'll start measuring my angle so starting point will be zero degree now this will be 90 degree this is 180 this is 270 and again if i come back here this will be 360 degrees now <coughs> you need to remember only two rules that is when i'm traveling around this vertical line so when i'm traveling along the vertical line then trigonometric ratios changes so what i'm saying is when you're traveling along this line what i mean by traveling along this line if i'm going this line ke idhar ya is line ke udhar that means sin 90 minus theta sin 90 plus theta sin 270 minus theta sin 270 plus theta or i can say any trigonometric ratios for that right so trigonometric ratios change how does it change so sine is converted into cos cos is converted into sine tan is converted into cot cot is converted into tan now sec is converted into cosec and cosec is converted into sec theta so let me give an example suppose i'm interested in finding sine 90 minus theta suppose i'm saying 90 minus 30 degree okay so you need to know that sine 90 minus theta when i'm going 90 minus so i started measuring my angle from here so 90 minus when i'm saying i'm going in reverse direction so 90 minus 30 minutes i'm going in this direction so sine will change to cos so it will be equal to cos 30 now here what will be the sign plus or minus that depends upon the sign of this ratio in this quadrant so sign in this quadrant is positive so this will be plus cos theta so let me give you an explanation what i was talking about let's say sign 90 plus 30 or should i say cos 90 plus 30 let me use cos 90 plus 30 i know when i'm traveling along this line so cos 90 plus 30 will be 
sin 30. I just told you. Now what about its sign? So what will come here? It will be plus or minus. So that will be tell like what will okay. So if I'm traveling along this line, so 90 plus 30, 90 plus 30, I'm coming in this quadrant. So in this quadrant, cos is negative. So this will be minus sin 30. Okay. 